Hi guys, um, this video presentation is to show you guys how to to download from a GPS and plot these points in an online web map. The online web map we're using today is our Google Maps, it's popular, it's free and uh, very, 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 very flexible. And um, we're going to use DNR GPS as usual to download the points from the GPS. So we just go straight to that. We have our GPS. We click on our GPS. We say find GPS. By now, your GPS should be connected to your PC or your laptop as it may be. And um, you just go to GPS to say download all, but you don't really intend to download all. You can see it's arranged in this. So we intend to download from, um, let's pick this, train, this last one here. We say OK. So you see our points here. Downloaded the school, empty field warehouse, a factory, and empty plot. So this GPS data now, we're going to send it right to the right to our file because it's in gps format so we just call this google google maps gps it's already in gps exchange format so we save that we save them as waypoints and that's okay okay so we're dnr gps has finished doing some part of the job it has downloaded the points from the gps for us and saved it to file so we pick up our we launch our browser we go to google maps once you're in google maps it's just maps.google.com in your google in your google search search menu and you get google maps if you are you must have a google account for you to access google maps and a gmail account for you to be able to access a whole variety of your google account so google map comes to this package so you quickly come here you see my maps you click on that my maps and it will bring out like a uh, opportunity for you to create because i already done so much you see the create tool here you just go to create okay so the map an untitled map opens up so the first thing we do is to title our map we just title them as we or let me call it a point from field work, points from field. You can describe. We see waypoints. Got um captured. This is um, captured by the GPS during field work. Yes, good. So we save. If you look here, you see that the description, the, the, the title has changed to the points from free work, waypoints captured by the GPS review. So the next thing we do, we have to add layer. So you see, there is an entitled layer here. We just use the word import. If there was nothing like that, we would just we'd rather say add layer. So now it says you can drag in a CSV. XLX or KML file here. If you remember from here, we don't have it in any of these forms. We have it in GPS form, so we need to convert this. So we go again. We have it here. We save it to file, and this time we're going to convert this our points to one of these formats: CSV, text, or KML. Let's say KML. That's Google Keyhole Markup Language, and again we give it the name that we gave it before Google Maps GPS. So we just remove this GPS at the back, and that pulls up too. And um, this time again, we say read lesson, we say OK, we minimize. Now we select from computer, we go, we navigate to where. We saved the file before that. We lessen. Yep. And we look for Google Maps, not GPX, KML. It's also going to come inside. So we say OK. It uploads it. And that's it going. So we try to bring it into the map and get the correct location for it. 
like I said before, you should have your Google Map or your Google account for you to be able to access this. And there it is. That's those are our points, and that's the base map on guides. And what we can do here, instead of having individual stars, since each of the points itself is um, is represents the same thing, just waypoints, we could have uniform star. And the uniform star will bring only one of this up here. We could um, rename this with the edit this layer. We could rename it and call it passes. So this are passes. So we say those are passes. We can also change the color and change the style of the icon. So that's it. We have them now as squares and with the yellow color. Now the next thing we should also do is um we could change the base map this time around instead of using this plain one we could change to a satellite imagery and that's a that's a satellite imagery so we change to a satellite imagery here another thing is we should come here pair the if you look at the pop up it's all kind of information jumbled together so we could reduce that instead of empty field we could actually now call it a general name passes and um description we could remove that we could describe it to waypoint captured during field work uh you mention the figure if you like latitude long to we can leave that we can remove the x and y projection the attitude since there's nothing there we we'll remove that now another beautiful part of this is we can add our picture like i said before your picture must already be based online so we use an image url this time i go back again and pick that image url i used before copy uh paste and that's the image here and i select it so it comes in as a picture so that's good so when we save that that's our new dialog a new pop-up box the picture the name the description the type and the latitude and longitude so once this is ready we could also do the same as we did in agile so that we can share this time around we share it remember to change the access from private to public if you want to share with the public if you want to share with people that you give the link you say anyone with the link but we are interested in sharing with the public of course whether you want them to edit or view we'll just keep it to view if you are sharing with team members who went to the field with you you could make it can edit so they can also edit and put their own contributions now we're done with that if we say we're done with that we're done our la our real intention is to embed the map so the next thing we need to do is to come here and see the option of embed on my site you could also export this map as a kml back again which you can use in another um, other applications. applications now, now the, the next thing, thing we do is embed on my site so i'll pick that and the, the embed code will come out you just right click you copy we go back again to our html page i remove the former embed code that was there and i put this one i paste this one in and uh, I changed this, this is not our GIS, this will now be Google Maps. Google Maps, and uh, I say this again as HTML, say it already exists, I replaced what was there before, and I OK this. Now, now all I simply have to do now is to go to my web page file, that's my HTML, I click on it. And, um, <coughs> and that's my web page this is my web page and this is the embed map inside my web page 
So, so it's, it's as simple, as simple, simple and as straightforward as that, and that's it. And exactly as you have it on the map, if you click here, information, passes, comes out, all items. If I click on that, I get my picture, empty fields, exactly. So I can share this information with the whole world, and you can see it here. This, this is just, just and the beauty, beauty of, 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 of Google, Google Maps again. If I want, I want to change the map from satellite imagery back, back to this, I could easily do that while in my web page, not, not even in Google, Google Maps. And anybody that has access to this um to this link can also do the same thing that I'm doing. Just as much as you can come you can copy this, send it to them and they will open in their web browser and this is exactly what will come out. So, so thanks, thanks for, for listening, listening and um, feel, feel free to, to send, send in your, your comments. comments.